Hello and welcome to yet another Outwardly Experience. Today we will be talking about how to create a player data class and create an object from it and then store that object in the client object that the player connects. Uh, sounds complicated, but let me just show it to you. Okay, first and foremost thing, we are going to make a class in which we will write all the attributes, as in variables, and the functions in the class that would perform tasks. Instead of writing it in separate file with multiple lines, we will just make a function which will do everything for us. All we have to do is call the function. So first, let me just make a class and name this player no i'll just call this data and here we have it we do not need this i'll just call the gta network api and that's about it now we have the class data what we're gonna do is we're gonna make variables first we will make public let's say client we need a client data type so that we can store well obviously the client the player data that connects from on player connected which gets triggered i mean from on player connected we're going to store that client data type into this class itself so we're just going to call this uh player oh my god player data and give it a get and set property we will use public string name and have a get set we will use a public int cache to store the cache the player has uh, let's see public mm, level we could use that forgot the data type public int level get set what else can we have let's say we have name cash level we will just take another one and make it public int h for now we will just keep it this simple that's it nothing more nothing less just the basic things now we will make a function a function which will let's say set the health okay i'll take another one public int health and get set this stores the health of the player pretty obvious ain't it now we will make a constructor a constructor is basically a type of a function but not a function but it gets called whenever an object is created from the class that is how it is invoked but it does not return any data type and to write a constructor you'll write it is the exact name of the class so this class name is data the constructor name will also be data but no return type over here we are going to initialize all the values for the variables that we have so this the player data is equals to null now you might think what is this well this means that it is referencing to the current object that has been called from somewhere else we will talk about this later for now just forget about this just you know that this needs to be used in the constructor we will give a parameter a formal parameter client player and instead of null we're just gonna put player over here name well we will put it as player the name and uh, for cache this the cache is equals to zero this the level is equals to zero this the age is equals to zero this the health is equals to zero so in the constructor what you do is you just give default values to all the variables that you have now we will make a static variable what is a static variable a static variable is basically a type first of all a static is a type in which if you create an object from a class then it is not a copy is not made what do i mean by that when you create an object from a class a separate 
sort of real object is created but if it is a static one then it is not created again and again each time you create an object it is just only created once we will call this public static read only um let's say data identifier oops forgot the data type string public data identifier is equals to player info this is the variable a string variable which can only be accessed it cannot be set it can only be get because it is read only and this player info is read only and a string we will talk about this in a moment why this is a static and constant for now just know that since this is a static variable it won't get created again and again each time an object is created instead it will be just created once when the program starts now we will make certain functions let's say we will just make for now one function just to demonstrate public void set health and inside set health we will take a formal parameter int health over here i'll do this dot health is equals to health and this dot player data dot health is equals to 50 no let's just make it health sorry i shouldn't have row 50 health this is the formal parameter this is the variable for this class and this is the actual health which if we modify it will change the health in in game so why did i do this encapsulation what is encapsulation it is basically bundling up several code into one small package let's say a small part of code so that when you're actually doing it in the main script you do not have to constantly write these two lines again and again which we do because let's say if you wanted to change it let's say if i wanted to ha do health plus 10 but we did it for one instance but let's say in the main class we forgot to do it in one part so it's going to cause a bug that's why we make functions so that it if you edit it in one part, it will change it in the entire instances that happens in any place the function is called. So far, we have a class data, a static string with the identifier data identifier with an initialized value player info, and these are basically just variables. This is a constructor, and over here, we're gonna give it default values. This is a constructor parameter, and this parameter gets assigned to this variable so far so good understood now we are going to utilize it in the main let me just close this in the main class over here in on player connected we will create an object for that data so test dot player dot data this is the object the name of the object now we will write an identifier for the object we will just call this player is equals to new test dot player dot data and there was a parameter for the constructor so over here we need to give a parameter as well we will give the parameter this player client player goes over here and when an object is created this player then what happens is this constructor is called and since the constructor has a parameter client player which we are passing over here client player from on player connected what happens is that this client player gets assigned to this class's variable public client player data the player gets assigned in player data and all the rest is just initialized as the name 0000. Now we will use this function. Oh, first of all, we need to save this object. How are we going to save the object?